Welcome back to Kids Planning. I'm Peyton. And I'm Jared. And today we're going to teach you how to play Kohaku! Kohaku is a peaceful tile laying game for one to four players from Gold Seal games and 25th century games where players compete to build the best koi pond. The game ends when there's no more koi left to draw and players score based on what's in their pond. The game includes the pond mat, koi tiles, feature tiles, reference cards, and score markers. To set up the game, put a mat in the middle of the table and separate the koi tiles and feature tiles. Some of the tiles have player markings in the bottom corner. Remove any tiles marked for more players than you have. Then for two players, remove seven more random koi tiles. And for three and four players, remove five random koi tiles. Then shuffle the koi and feature tiles separately and put them in their own piles face down next to the pond mat. If the piles get too tall, you can put them in separate piles. Put a koi face up on each koi spot and a feature face up on each feature spot. Then you're ready to get started. During the game, players will take turns drawing two tiles, one koi and one feature, that they will use to build their pond. The tiles you take must be next to each other, not diagonal. So if I take this koi, then I can take one of these features. You have to take one koi and one feature on your turn. You can't take two koi or two features. Then players use their tiles to build their own pond in front of them. We're only building one pond in this tutorial, but in the real game, everyone would make their own pond. To build your pond, there's only a couple of rules. You have to place tiles next to each other, not diagonal, and you can't put koi next to koi or features next to features. The two tiles that you draw on your turn don't have to go next to each other. They just have to follow those rules. So if my pond looks like this and I drew these two tiles, I wouldn't have to put them next to each other. I could put one here and one here, as long as there's no koi next to koi or features next to features. After you draw your tiles, you refill the mat. You always put the new tiles in the middle two spots. If you didn't draw either of those two tiles, move them to fill the spaces from where you did draw and put a koi on the koi space and a feature on the feature space. When you turn it over, play goes clockwise around the table. Now let's talk about scoring. You score based on the features you have in your pond and the fish that are around those features. You never score diagonally, only adjacent. All the scoring is on your reference card and the features also have the scoring rules on them. If you look at the koi, there's a bunch of different colors. Mm -hmm. Some are one colors and some are two colors. Some also have dragonflies and some have baby fish on them. These are all going to affect how they score with the features they're next to. Now let's look at all the features. Statues score based on how many fish are around them. Only next to, not diagonal. So one for one koi, three for two koi, six for three koi, and 10 points for four koi. So this statue would be worth six points. Single flowers score two points for every koi next to them that has the color of the flower on the fish. So yellow flowers score for any yellow fish next to them, even if they aren't solid yellow. As long as they have yellow on them, they score. And if you have the correct color fish on all four sides, the flower scores 12 points. So this would give me six points, but this would give me 12. Double flowers score two points for each fish next to it that has either of the colors in the flowers, and three points for each fish that has both. So for this double flower, these fish would be worth two points because they only have one of these two colors, but this fish would be worth three because it has yellow and white. Rock score one point for each baby fish next to it. So this rock would give me one, two, three, four, five, six points. Frogs score one point for each dragonfly next to them. So uh, this frog would score one, two, three, four points. Butterflies score two points for the same colored koi in the same row or column as the butterfly, not just the koi's next to it. So this butterfly would score two, four, six, eight, ten points. Turtles score five points no matter where they are or what's around them. And solid color fish have a coin on their tile. Each coin is worth one point at the end of the game. So on your turn, draw two tiles that are next to each other on the mat. One fish and one feature. Put them in your pond following the placement rules and refill the mat. The game ends when there are no koi left to refill the mat. To score, add the score for each feature tile. 
The easiest way to score is to start at the top corner of your pond and just go row by row, scoring each feature tile. So start with this one, which is worth two points, then go to this one, which is worth six points. And then just keep going until you have your total score. And the player with the highest score at the end of the game wins. And that's Go Hockey. If you have any questions or if you have a game you want us to teach, leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe right here. And watch our other videos over here. See you later. Bye. Bye.